What's up, members of the Barrio? It's John coming to you from Sunset Park, Brooklyn, and today we are in front of Industry City, which is an old warehouse district that has now been repurposed to have office space, food halls, art galleries, and a whole lot more. We're gonna be focusing this video on an area called Japan Village, and one of my viewers, who happens to be an ambassador for Kyoto Japan, and a TV host, is gonna be joining us. We're gonna be checking out this really amazing Japanese market with tons of things to do, and we're gonna see just how authentic it actually is. This is my first time to New York, and I wanna make something, uh, some Japanese cuisine for my American friend. So uh, when I researched, I find out there's a Japan village supermarket sell Japanese spice. So I went this place and found out there's they got a lot of everything from Japan. So that's the reason I found out this place. And I introduced this place to John and asked him to come with me. So Adriana and I spent a month in Japan last spring and, and this is bringing back a lot of memories of just going to like a supermarket or a convenience store in Japan. I love all the frozen items they have here. So you could take things home, just throw it in the freezer if you want that Japanese fix. And May, what, what in the freezer is most interesting for you? This one. Show me. See? Oh. Natto. You, you guys definitely know natto if you ever visit Japan because most of foreigners think it's very stinky. How come how come Japanese people eat every day like eat, eat this every day? But it is very healthy. So when I came here I saw God you got a lot of kind of natto here. This wines really actually sell in Japan. Japan and this if you see this mark, Maruchan, Maruchan, this mark is from, and the Nishin, this also from, it's genuine, genuine uh, Japan. We haven't even tried any of the restaurants yet, but you could just come here and stock up on all of these products here and like be set for weeks for your Japanese food fix. Alcohol. It drinks like uh, alcohol, but it's non-alcohol. Non-alcohol. Yeah, yeah non-alcohol, but it's drink. It's, the, the word here is feel like you are drinking. The non other keep feel like you are drinking. Let me show people, and this is Suntory, which is a great whiskey company, right? Yeah, whiskey company. Guys, you, this was like the most requested gift I got when I went to Japan. I just remember uh, the store at Don Quixote in Japan. It was awesome. We loved it, and we were always buying like, Kit Kats everywhere, every day. Guys, look, $130 for A5 Wagyu New York strip steak. That's the most expensive meat I've seen in a supermarket in New York City. But I bet you it's amazing. So we've just went through this amazing little market. Now we're gonna show you around the food stalls here. A lot of different styles of Japanese food. And we're gonna sample a lot of stuff, put it all together, and see you know what we think is authentic, what I miss from Japan. It's gonna be fun. I saw you... takoyaki. Takoyaki? So I wanna try if the takoyaki is the same with in our place. Guys, we have a sampling of a lot of different Japanese stuff in front of us. So May and I, we're gonna be trying everything. We've got sushi, we've got pork katsu curry, we've got takoyaki. Uh, Evan, what do you have over there? Well, we've got a pork danburi. Pork danburi, and we've got some udon noodles coming as well. In Japan, our takoyaki moves more like liquid inside, more softer. It's, it's just like the donuts, it tastes like donuts. Takoyaki, it tastes like donuts. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite foods when I was in Japan, I was eating it at least like three times a week, was pork katsu curry. So when I saw an opportunity to order it here, I wanted to taste it and see how it differed from the Japan version I'm used to. I've had this in New York before at different places and not been impressed. We'll see what this $10 variety tastes like. So we got the curry sauce. Let's go. That's not bad. Um, 
I think the biggest difference that I'm noticing is the pork. It just tastes so different compared to the pork I was used to eating in Japan. Uh, the curry sauce, a little bit spicy, not bad. I'm definitely not disappointed for $10, but I wouldn't say this has that extreme authentic Japanese curry taste that I've really longed for. And have yet to find in New York, though. If you can tell me the best pork curry spot in New York in the comments, I would appreciate it a lot. Mm. How good is this? Like, you can really taste the ginger in there. It tastes really yeah. super fresh. It's got a hint of garlic in there. The pork is super, super tender. And the nice thing I like is that the, the sauce just kind of just marinates and coats the rice. This way it's like one complete dish. So whenever you put it, it's just like, it, it's, just a, it's just a party. <laughs> yeah, actually by far, I think this is so good. Actually, it made me feel like I'm already back in Japan. Very chewy, that's a good thing. But I think this this kind of flavor is more like uh, Tokyo Tokyo style, not Kyoto style, but still very good. What's been your favorite thing, I'm curious, coming to New York City? Actually, I like the, the most part of New York I like is uh, compared to Japan. Maybe it's a character of Asian, we always criticize people. But in New York, I got compliment every day because for like, okay, my shirt, people will say, oh, I like your shirt, you are not weird, you leave me a dish, I like it. I like your shirt yeah. too. I feel there's a positive energy in New York. That's why I like New York the most. Positive energy here, I, I have to agree with that. Evan, what do you think? You're the native New Yorker. Some positive energy here. Just good. <laughs> it's like the biggest thing that people forget about is that in New York, like you can be whoever you want to be because you know, with eight million of your closest friends living here, <laughs> um, you don't necessarily have to see the same person twice ever again if you don't want to. So with that, like people just feel free and they're just like open to doing whatever they want to do, and that's part of what makes New York New York. We were all pleasantly surprised by the quality of the Japanese cuisine here. Was it 100% authentic? Maybe not all of it, but if you want to sample a lot of different stuff from Japan, instead of jumping between different restaurants, come to Japan Village. But we are not done with this video just yet. We are gonna be trying some sake. We are in front of Koriachi, I hope I pronounced that right. And it is a Japanese sake and spirit store. Every Friday and Saturday, they have sake tastings. We are in luck, you guys are in luck. Let's try some sake out. So in Japan, we only say once, kanpai. So let's do it. Kanpai. Mm. interesting. Oh, that's really nice. I like it. It's uh, I like it too. Actually, the sparkling sake, is what, uh, the market, talk, the target market is for females. So. <laughs> <laughs> but Evan, you still like it? Right? No, I love it. Like I'm, I'm all about this. Uh, guys, we are going to show you one other thing here, in Industry City. Evan is a lot more familiar with this area now. It is going to be in the next year or so, just sprawling there, opening up shops left and right. So I'm going to hold off on doing an official tour of this area. But think food variety, like. Chelsea Market, uh, think office space, oh, yeah. entertainment companies. Evan, what, what do you got to say about this? So like the biggest thing about it is when this first started opening up a little while ago, it was literally just abandoned warehouses. And now what you're seeing is that with all the mixed uses that you're getting out of all these buildings, you got to give it some time. But even coming down here, you can easily spend a day down here between the breweries between like all the restaurants between some of the art galleries and honestly just walking around and enjoying it's a huge like family area so go ahead and bring the kids so we will dedicate a video to this area i promise you at some point i just wanted to get developed a little bit more so today's video was focused on just the japanese village which which to me is worth visiting just by itself you gotta love all the little artwork that you start seeing uh, across the complex for right now like there's galleries and stuff here but it gets even better may 
was the one who tipped us off to this Captain America statue inside of the mall here. And you said that one of the reasons you moved to Brooklyn was because of Captain America? No, 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 no. Are you Actually, just joking? I'm jo no. I, when I say, when I talk to my friend that I'm, I'm going to New York and I choose to leave Brooklyn, because most of my friends know I'm a big fan of Marvel, and they say, must, must, because Captain, Mar uh, Captain America, right? And they say, yeah, kind of. An incredible guest with us to check out the Japanese culture here in Industry City, which is 32 acres, 16 old factory buildings. Guys, you can explore here for hours. This would be an incredible rainy day activity. And when more things start to open here, wow, this area is really changing. There's so many cool things coming. So make sure to check out Japan Village to get that Japanese fix if you're looking for it. I absolutely love the food and drink selection, of course. And we'll come back here to Industry City at some point to do a complete video showing you around all all the cool art stuff, food, you name it, they got it. Guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.